Hi, this is Amit from Digital Inspiration and today we'll talk about creating mail merge using Gmail. Now let's say there's a party at your home and you would like to invite all your friends and relatives to that party over email. Now how do you do that? One option is that you create a common email message and put the email addresses of all your friends and relatives in the BCC field. Now that's the old way of doing things. A better solution would be that you send them a personalized email message using mail merge. Now to set up a mail merge, all you need is a free Google account in 5 minutes. Let's see how. This is your Gmail mail merge spreadsheet. You can find a link to this in the show notes. Now here's the maximum number of email messages you can send today. Ok, to get started go to mail merge and clear the canvas. You might have to grant certain permissions the first time you're running the mail merge spreadsheets. Now that you've given the permissions you need to import your contacts into the mail merge program. So either you can write your contacts manually or you can go to google contacts and create a group here. For instance, I have a group called TechPress here, which has the email addresses and names of some prominent tech journalists. So I'll use that in the mail merge program. I come here and click import contacts and type the name of the group, which is TechPress. Google Docs will now import the contacts from your Google contacts here. You may also add new entries to this list manually. Let me also add my name here just to show you how the, the final email will look like. Now once you have completed the mail merge list, go to the right where you have to fill in the email template. So first this is the subject which will be common for all email messages. Now salutation, how do you want to address the contact, let's say dear. Now for the message body you can write an HTML mail here. So go to controlq.org for the HTML mail and type some email message here. Now you can write a proper uh, rich text email here. Your email may have different colors, font sizes. You may even include images in your email. For instance, for this message, I have a file saved in my Dropbox folder. So I'll just copy the link and paste it into this email message. Let's add a quick signature here. The signature could be in a different font or maybe we can decrease the size of the font for the signature. Now that our email, basic email is ready, uh, what we'll do is we'll switch to the HTML view and copy the source code of the HTML email. Now go back to the mail merge spreadsheet and paste that code into the message body. Now fill in your name and email address. This email address is the reply to address in case somebody wants to reply to your email message. Now this is an interesting field, the attachment ID. In case you want to include a file with your email message, a PDF, an image, a Word document or something else, go to Google Docs and upload that file. For instance, I have a PDF here. And once the file is uploaded to Google Docs, just open that file in Google Docs and copy the ID of that file to your clipboard. The ID is always available in the URL of that document. So just copy the attachment ID, go back to your mail merge spreadsheet and paste it here. Now in case you would like to receive a copy of these emails, you may say yes for the BCC field, else just say set that to no. Now we are all set, let's start the mail merge. Now the mail merge script is running. Once the script has successfully completed, you will see that the status of the emails has changed from blank to OK, which means the emails were sent successfully. Now let me go to my inbox to see how the mail looks like. I'll just refresh to see any fresh emails and it's there. So just open that email. Now this email looks exactly like the HTML email that you composed. It has that image as well and uh, the formatting is there. You can see the personalized name if you scroll down the PDF attachment is there as well. And one more thing, you can easily access the code of the mail merge program under tools script editor. Now this of course requires some knowledge of the Google app scripting language, but in case you would like to enhance the functionality of the mail merge program, this is the way to go.
Thanks.